Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I wanted to talk about this avatar game because it really surprised me like big time AMD and this game and Ubisoft, what Ubisoft did, it really surprised me. It really feels like a next gen game. I haven't have that for a long time. It was like progression, progression, but this game feels different. Yeah, Alan Wake was impressive, but Alan Wake is very, very dark and gray and definitely not my cup of tea. I really don't like being lost. And now I'm lost. I don't know where to go. I feel like bored i know it's excellent game but this game like it's designed to impress in so many levels and there's quite few things that you know make me think one of them are benchmarks like this tech power up i really like this website and i love their like benchmarking the comparison of the different gpu excellent page and other youtubers use this page as well because it's amazing it's amazing and like this game you know got test how much vram you use the performance and when you look at this yeah when you look at this it can be quite depressing but guys this with the gaming is i believe this like to like now is one of the best period for pc gaming ever and i know a lot of people disagree but i think they disagree because we look at the different part of glass you know the glass is half empty half full i'm looking at the half full part and a lot of people looking at half empty but because in my opinion the gaming was never better than it is now the glass got bigger and because it's bigger it's more like inside but it's also more empty space and when you focus on the empty space it feels maybe bad but in my opinion it's phenomenal time for pc gaming but when you look at this graph i i love their benchmarks yeah but you need to know what you're looking at because you look at these benchmarks and for example 1440p like most people use this monitor you see that on average not even the the minimum very few gpu can even hold 60 fps so very few gpus on the market can play this game at 60 fps and 1490 cannot reach 120 fps on average was the minimum at the minimum look only three gpus can hold stable 60 fps yeah you look at this yeah it's horrible the game is horribly optimized but guys let, just let me show you i'm running obs obs at 4k which is quite heavy by itself 4k a lot of people when using obs they're using a separate pc to to record you know the gameplay so i've got a gameplay on like already on just let the game like start this is 4k it's optimized settings yeah optimized so it's not everything on ultra i've got activated fsr by the way fsr in this game is phenomenal so 4k fsr quality uh frame gen frame generation and i'm not in the the best looking part of the game it's like almost the beginning not the very beginning but like few minutes of gameplay you know it's not really fully set up i thought amd not gonna do it but the frame generation works perfectly look at the frame time it's completely flat i have some screen tearing. i didn't sort this one out i think i need to turn something on in the settings but guys i've never seen anything like that yeah it's a plant of course i've seen a plant before but it looks so much grass how they did this because in other games you you turn on like more glass just a little bit and you had such a huge hit to performance but here you have fog from the waterfall some birds lots of like palms grass you know different lighting some of this like almost like glowing you know it's like i don't know how they did it it's it looks all the the fog this flying stuff look the look reflection in the water how uh, you know it's so impressive how the game looks like and run and i'm you know and they even manage to use the the ps5 controller with all the settings you know all the features of from playstation 5 i normally use uh, xbox controller because most games don't cannot utilize fully the playstation 5 controller but this one does so well done ubisoft well done ubisoft and look how this game looks like yeah 4k it's not real 4k yeah but come on guys nobody play at na well nobody of course a lot of people play at native but now when you have dlss fsr most people use uh, dlss 1440p and when you use dlss at 1440p the input resolution is below 1080p and look you know this is like 4k it's phenomenal stable 120 4k but when you look yeah let's go back when you look here actually let me turn this off because there's some sand and let me bring some bullet points you know so because i don't want to forget looks you look at that you can re easily can see the glass half empty yeah that no gpu can run this game 
but it's not like that you know you you can just optimize the settings and the, the experience is really great like surprisingly great, great relative to the visuals you get and all the settings like medium settings includes ray tracing so AMD can actually do ray tracing that's really impressive as well you know I didn't expect that benchmarking guys benchmarking got so much complicated I already made a whole video about this but look this is excellent benchmark yeah this is how the benchmark is supposed to be done ultra settings when you check the GPU you take max settings yeah free resolutions and remove the CPU bottleneck and just check the FPS but the only thing it really does that will tell you how one GPU compares to another on max settings but not on medium settings yeah so this is like old school and there is nothing optimized because look yeah I want to talk about YouTube channels because this old school benchmark is, is like really going away or you know you need the context because this is excellent benchmarks this is a really good benchmark and I love this website but if you want to know how the game will run you normally go to YouTube that's the best way now you go to YouTube check the game and if you want to know how it run exactly on your your PC you just type you know your GPU your CPU and see how, how it runs but for example this guy I uh, like and subscribe I really like his channel he's just showing different you know different settings what what does it do like really great so you know what settings does because the game doesn't do a great job actually telling you what's gonna happen how the game look will change and you can watch this guy here and he will show you you know like how it's changed and if the difference is worth because you look different settings and how much fps change maybe the change in fps is small maybe look this is 10 percent 10 percent and is the visual different maybe it is so you know you need to you, you can decide for yourself so really cool and i used his uh like optimized settings for that one so i easily get 120 with fsr and frame generation i didn't expect frame generation to work so well and if i switch the frame generation off i've got around 90 fps 100 fps without frame generation so for me frame generation like i don't need that i just turn it on to make the numbers more impressive you know just to feel better but no need even for that so amazing channel you know excellent another channel pretty much the same thing impressive i don't know big respect to these guys what they did how much work they put to to do that just for a single game and often for a single like gpu cpu you know amazing amazing i highly recommend this guy showing the difference between low settings in that game and unobtainium unobtainium is like hidden secret settings and it's actually interesting why would any developers hide the best settings why would you do that yeah you can think what would you why it's not like an easter egg but i think it makes a lot of sense why they did it and i think they they did a good decision why they hide an optanium even though it's the best looking settings i think they, they they made a good decision because look low settings this guy is getting 170 fps pretty much or almost 70 fps so way less than half really yeah less than half so and the difference is look here is big however low settings are quite unique because low settings has no ray tracing as soon as you hit medium settings you have ray tracing i think i thought for a moment that you cannot switch ray tracing but i think you can when you go to the lowest like possible like low but medium settings has ray tracing on so yeah i like this channel especially he's got the same gpu as mine so yeah i follow him this guy here i think this is the best one i found regarding this specific game what, what he did because he done a lot of settings like look he show which setting yeah in this graph which setting gives the biggest difference and he used the most popular gpu not 4090 yeah not like one percent yeah the most popular current gen gpu the one yeah perfect like pretty much perfect and different setting including fsr free frame generation so very cool you know show different setting like the way he present the data perfect and i like this asterisk here that you know this is with ray tracing so as soon as you hit medium you have ray tracing on reflections on so very very cool and look he's comparing low optimized settings and ultra settings so ultra is heavy but low is fine you know still looks okay and optimize and you know because you hit diminishing dimin return at about medium settings you know everything more you, you barely see the difference there is a difference of course when you zoom or you watch digital foundry they will you know 
show you the zoom like 500% zoom to tell you yeah look there is a difference you see you see this pixel is different but guys nobody plays like that yeah you optimize settings like new time and i know a lot of people well a lot of people you know all of us like to move all the settings to the right if you don't go all to the right you cannot play at max settings yeah if you cannot play cyberpunk with maximum path tracing a lot of people will not play the game they will wait two years four years when they finally can buy 70 90 then can play the game when it's already old and any gpu can play steam deck free can play that game i don't think it's worth it but yeah this is how it is a lot of people play like that so optimize settings very cool channel really really good and as i show you guys the game runs really well so this old style you know old style of benchmarkings is really going away and it can be depressing when you see it like that and you don't know what you to look at like ultra settings like silly settings kind of you know are not realistic for most people because most people like look when you have 3060 yeah 3060 one of the most popular gpu on the market in the world 35 fps at 1080p but that's not true i mean it's true what they say but with a context oh look 40 70 yes barely yes 77 fps but not at 1440p 50 fps so you have amazing gpu that cannot do 60 fps at 40, uh, 1440p but again it's with a context you can so easily achieve way more in this game way more and look at this guy very good channel half a million subscribers already look 6700 xt old gpu yeah this is like cheap gpu and look a 1440p medium fsr quality 1440p medium ultra quality yeah this is new thing ult well some games was using that but this game is using that as well ultra quality not just quality and le let me play this one because it's in a better looking part of the game and his opinion about this gpu playing at 1440p hard it gets really hard to decide my friends this looks almost the same as quality fsr 3 without frame generation and it gets 60 plus all of the time basically with minor input lag because it's still like 70 plus most of the time <sighs> i'm usually like yeah frame generation makes things a little bit softer and more pixelated than usual so i don't really want to use it and so yeah guys looks impressive yeah look almost 100 fps at this game that's supposed to be very demanding like gpu killer only few gpu in the world can run this game is getting 100 fps at 1440p yes i know it's not real it's upscaled i understand that but guys who cares doesn't matter as you, if you don't see the difference or the difference is so small you barely notice like who cares consoles have fsr built in now that's why this is the the new standard you know if console would play at native that would still be a bonus on pc and you turn dlss as a bonus as an extra but since console have fsr dlss built or well, not dlss but fsr built in within the engine that's gonna be like that on pc but guy you know you can run these games oh look he running this game at 4k again i understand not real 4k but you can actually utilize 4k screens now because of upscaling let me play this clip as well visuals for now at 4k resolution FSR 3 with frame generation is enabled, all right, and performance right there. And I just wanted to start with frame generation enabled to see the best experience and so I don't need to restart everything because <laughs> I need to restart after burner and the capture card every time I apply frame generation. And uh, well, yeah, figured, well, let's just use it right now. I'll test no frame generation a little bit later. But yeah, as you can see, this is looking pretty decent still not like native resolution in most areas like at the far distance you can't really see any noise but it's on small moving things like those little bugs are there um the the iron so yeah guys no even on this old gpu well old last generation mid-tier so low tier comparing to, to current generation you can still run this game at fake 4k but 4k yeah it's upscaled but it's you know you you can do that so really impressive and look the g the system you can build to run that look ryzen 50 this is cpu this is stronger than on console that should be enough i know it's not the newest but it's not gonna bottleneck the gpu that's the the important and when you go with the bare minimum you know to avoid gpu bottleneck because that's the heart of the system yeah you build everything around gpu a gpu is the first choice and then everything around 
command to support your GPU, yeah? Because that's gonna play the game, to not bottleneck your GPU. And if it's enough, so it can be utilized at 100%. That's the goal, $800. I think it's pretty amazing, guys. Don't you think? You know, a lot of people said, oh, it's the PC gaming at the moment is such a bad state. It's horrible. I think the opposite. I think it's pretty amazing. You know, like people are just over dramatic, too negative when, you know, it's, it's not really that bad. So guys, benchmarking got a little bit more complicated because how you can optimize the games now and how the maximum settings that are normally used for benchmarking are not realistic, are just not realistic because you hit diminishing returns so heavily, you barely see the difference above medium in some day of the newest games like medium is the sweet spot you know that the settings that are used on consoles everything more you need i don't know you need like 100 inches screen and then zoom watch digital foundry to investigate what's the difference because that's how it ends up but you optimize the settings you get such a great experience it's such a stunning looking games and guys why i said why unobtainium is hidden or secret the best settings in the game why it's hidden i think most more developers do that as well they but they don't hide they just don't uh they don't add this to the game because it's risky as i said you add to the game settings they are too heavy they are too heavy a lot of people not gonna play the game because they cannot max out the game and also this one this specific maximum settings affects this one the higher the maximum spec settings the more depressing it may look for people who don't know what to look at they will focus on the glass half empty that's why i think they make a very good decision to hide this and maybe they should even hide the maximum the ultra and just leave like medium and high you know and call it differently maybe that would be even better for them because then they would do that people would be even more impressed at the visuals because how the game runs to the visuals is really impressive i know like alan wake is very impressive as well technically but it's very dark game you know like yeah it's dark it's a horror game it doesn't need to look beautiful so it's technically amazing but ugly stuff yeah, like horror movie stuff when in this game you like in a disney world playing as a two meter smurfs it's amazing you know it's like everything is made to impress it's like nice looking like go to the movie you know they give you 3d glasses because it's everything to impress and guys i don't know what they did what amd did but fsr in this game is phenomenal i don't know what happened i i don't know if it's ubisoft maybe ubisoft is genius and fix the fsr for amd or something else happened but fsr in this game is fantastic and i like to add sharpness because you know the like you no know, the this amd software by the way just let me switch it on so yeah the the radion settings is fantastic guys and i really like to add you know like frame limiter i like to do that maximum you know radion boost i like sharpening this one i don't know what it's of but i really like this one setting as well so yeah very cool what amd is doing now i'm really shocked because for a long time i was I, I like AMD. I want to support them, but I support them like underdog. They, you know, and sometimes they annoy me how, I don't know, incompetent they can be, how stupid decision they make. But I don't know, something changed in this company because with this one game, FSR freeze fix, I mean, the FSR upscaling looks phenomenal, looks amazing. It's really difficult to recognize if it's uh, native or with FSR. And frame generation, it was so bad just yesterday, pretty much, you know? The previous games, I was so against frame generation. It was making the experience so much worse for me, for me personally. I know a lot of people were impressed by frame generation they really like but for me was horrible the frame pacing just made for me unplayable and they fix everything that frame time graph is like completely flat i've got flat 120 fps at fake but as real it looks as real 4k fantastic and now i think they can really compete with nvidia like it's really hard to argue you know that oh i'm going with nvidia because of dlss now this argument is like fading yeah maybe dlss is better but i don't i don't know in this game is so good you can compare it it's hard to pick i don't know amd just respect to these guys as well again i'm really impressed i think they're not gonna work out this frame generation this this game changed you now many things in my my head like many opinions like i thought ray tracing is completely a gimmick few days ago i made a video how ray tracing is a gimmick and i think it was the hit to performance was ridiculous and you didn't see the difference now you can you switch ray tracing on like a normal settings it, amazing i know it's a different time of ray tracing it's a software ray 
tracing, but who cares? Who cares? It looks better. Yeah, the game looks better when you turn ray tracing on and you barely feel the difference. Amazing. Guys, best time for PC game in my opinion, definitely. Just everything gets better and less expensive. And even if you want to play only the newest, newest games, you can you can do. Now the, the PC hardware is getting less and less expensive, Ex expect, uh, except of maybe 4090. Now, NVIDIA VRAM, guys. This is one thing that I have problem, like serious problem with uh, NVIDIA. I understand that 12 gigabytes of VRAM will likely be enough. I understand that until PlayStation 6 will come out. But guys, I think this 12 gigabytes of VRAM is not enough just because, because there's no need for more. I think it will be enough because Nvidia gives developers no choice and that harms PC market. Because VRAM, in my opinion, and from, a, from what I've heard from people who are smarter than me, VRAM is one of the least expensive ways to improve visuals and performance. But because Nvidia doesn't give enough, the developers struggle. They struggle and they need to push, they need to put more pressure on CPU and GPU to go around VRAM bottleneck. Of course, you don't, as I said, you don't feel the the need for more VRAM because they actually do the job and 12 is enough but because developers have no choice and from what I understand optimizing for VRAM for memory is very expensive and time consuming so that's one of the reasons why games may feel unfinished because developers need to waste like two years more to optimize for not enough VRAM so they're not lazy it means there's not enough money to pay for two years for 100 200 people to optimize for Vira. So I'm a bit like upset at Nvidia and I voted with my wallet because that was my decision to go with AMD with a lot of VRAM because I think this this is an issue. This is an issue and I hope more people will vote with their wallet as well because yeah it's Nvidia playing dirty in my opinion but I digress a little bit and yeah diminishing returns as I said before. So yeah guys that's my opinion. I think it's golden times of PC gaming if you focus on the glass half full. Yeah it's a huge glass. The glass is huge. So if you focus on the empty part of the glass it will be the worst time you know for PC gaming but I think it's the best time. I think it's the best time is just, you know, keep optimistic. And if you don't have the top end hardware, you cannot run this game. Guys, you don't even, you don't need to run this game. PC game is amazing because you have a library of games. You know, you have emulators, everything. Yeah, guys, I think that's it, guys. Let's just stay optimistic. The best time of, for PC gaming. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.